Hey everyone, this is Shotzi for the Rough Cuts on Sunday. Um, please forgive the mess behind me. We have to leave the country for a little bit, so hopefully this will get to you on Sunday. As long as everything goes to plan. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about a movie that sticks out in my mind as one of the worst movies I have ever seen in my life. It is The Apple. This movie ranks up there with things like Can't Stop the Music, and it's, 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 this is crap, this is, you're watching this movie and you just think, what on earth is going on? Who wrote this? This is, um, it was directed by Manaheim Golan, was it Golan? Yeah, Golan, who, you know, did other movies like Mona Lisa, but he also did more reputable movies such as Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone and it's like worse than bad. Well, you can tell by the name The Apple that it has biblical references and I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish with this movie but it's it's just it's beyond bad. It's a musical you know every good bad movie usually is. This movie was set in the future of 1994. It's starring Catherine Mary Stewart. This was her first starring role. She was also in movies like, um, oh, what was that? Gosh. I can't even think of the movie right now. It's going to come to me later on. But anyway, Catherine Mary Stewart's first movie. Also, um, George Gilmore is in this. This was his first movie and also his last movie. If you watch his performance in this, you'll understand why. And um, Vladek Shabal was in this, and he gives somewhat of a decent performance given the script. But he was in a pretty reputable movies such as um, The Wind and the Lion, also Red Dawn. And this was from 1980. And it's, it's two folk singers, Alfie and Bibi. And they enter this like world music tour. And people are really, really taken with them. They love them. So then Mr. Boogaloo, or Boogaloo, comes along and he wants to basically buy their contract. Alfie says no, but BB, she goes along with it and basically gives her soul to Mr. Boogaloo for fame and fortune. And Alfie wants nothing to do with it. So the two of them break up and there's a lot of drama a lot of just weirdness and debauchery and we all end up in this like white Cadillac in the sky. It's incredibly random. The choreography was done by Nigel Lithgow and he produces and no I don't think he produces it but he judges the um, show over here so you think you can dance and actually the choreography isn't that bad. The songs, however, absolutely suck in this movie. But it's a sort of thing, it's like a train wreck. Because you keep watching it. Obviously, I bought the DVD after seeing this movie. I was like, you know, I have to have this so I can show other people just how terrible it is. But you should watch this. As bad as it is, it's a good, bad movie. Not the best, worst movie. But it is a good, bad movie. Very, very campy. This is like the epitome of camp. The costumes are really over the top. They have these bim marks that they have to wear. And you should check it out. So I will see you all next time I'm on here when I make it back. So I will see you then. Until then, be safe, have fun, and bye.